Data classification is a way of segregating one type of data from another. Controls used to control access or control the modifications to a particular piece of data can be expensive. Not necessarily expensive directly in dollars, but it may be very overheaded or administrative intensive. It could take a lot of time, which of course does relate into dollars. So since these controls can be expensive, take a lot of time, we don't want to apply the controls to objects that don't actually need them. Only protect what you must. Don't lock the entire business up in a huge room with these huge padlocks on it unless you really need to protect everything. Typically what we'll do is we'll take the valuables and put them in a safe. We're only protecting what we must. Same idea with data classification. The process of identifying data and putting it into a specific category saying this is important but this data is not as important. That's the whole process of classification of our data. It identifies what valuable data or what data is valuable to us and how valuable it actually may be. In many cases, or in cases of organizational requirements, there may be regulatory criteria or legal criteria. One example is the healthcare industry. Much of the healthcare industry information is patient data. That patient data is regulated by the federal government. They're required to put higher controls or more stringent controls on patient medical records. In addition to satisfying your legal and regulatory criteria, it also helps in deciding what the appropriate controls are. Obviously, we're going to choose more stringent controls for very sensitive data as opposed to public data. In fact, we may choose not to control public data at all.